Welcome to the forecast video overview. In the next few minutes, we will quickly go through the different sections of the forecast application so that you can see how easy applying to your residency can be. Once you have created your application and logged in, you will be brought to the screen showing your application checklist, which lists the sections of the application. All sections of the application are required. Before exploring the sections of the application checklist, let's view the pages under My Profile. The Account Information section shows the information entered when you created your account, including your name as it will appear in the application, the email you wish for all correspondence to go to, and the username you chose. You can edit the information on this screen. If you want to change your password, you will do so from the Change Password screen. Enter the old password as well as the new password you wish to have. On this screen, you can change your security question or hint that will be asked of you if you forget your password. If you made a mistake entering information for your program year, such as completion date, you can edit it here. You should be very careful when selecting the type of residency you are applying for. Once you've created the application, you cannot change the selection, and the selection you make will determine which sites to which you can apply. If you made a mistake entering your pharmacy license number, or you have earned new licenses, you can add or edit the information here. An important section of the forecast application is the messages section located here. If forecast staff needs to contact you for any reason, we will send a message to the email provided in your application, as well as a message here. Since emails are sometimes filtered to junk mail, it is imperative that you check this section often. Now that you are acquainted with the sections under My Tools, let's look at the main body of the application. The first section is Contact Information. In this section, you will list the address, phone number, and email where your sites can best reach you. We also ask that you report the last four digits of your social security number, although it is not required. In the Personal Information section, you will enter information about your citizenship status, gender, race, ability to speak a foreign language, and whether or not you've been convicted of a felony. If you have, you will be able to explain further on this screen. Once you've entered all information, please click Save. Now you're ready to enter information about your institutions attended. Let's start with the non-pharmacy colleges attended. Here, you are able to enter the colleges you attended outside of your PharmD program. Not all sites require you to enter your non-pharmacy colleges. Please check your designations requirements for more information. To add a new institution, click Add New College. When you created your forecast account, you entered information about your pharmacy school. That information will automatically be pulled over to here. If you attended more than one pharmacy institution, you will enter the information for the others by clicking Add New College. Now let's take a look at the other sections of the application. In this section, you can add extracurricular activities, volunteer experiences, work and leadership experiences. Use the drop-down menu to select the appropriate activity. If you do not have any extracurriculars, click I am leaving this section blank intentionally. Here, you will be able to upload multiple personal statements. It is important for you to give each document a recognizable title because you will be attaching a set of documents for each residency to which you apply. Please ensure that you have saved your document in one of the acceptable file formats listed and that the file size is under 5 megabytes. To add a document, please select Browse, search for the file on your computer, then click Submit. You will be able to upload a CV using the same instructions as used in the Personal Statement section. Ensure that you have saved the document in one of the acceptable file formats listed and that the file size is under 5 megabytes. Click Browse, search for the file on your computer, and then click Submit. Please read this page carefully and certify that all the statements listed here are true. Enter your electronic signature, 
and the date at the bottom of the page and then click Save. You will be able to upload a document here which contains any supplemental materials. The size limit for the document is 5 megabytes. Finally, don't forget to register for the match if you did not do so before. You were able to register for the match when you created your application, but if you did not do so, you may register from this screen. Please remember that you will not be able to submit your application unless you have registered and paid for the match. You will notice that in this short video, we did not cover entering references nor selecting your designations. That is because there are separate videos which we have created that will walk you step by step in filling out these sections. They are accessed from our page on YouTube. This concludes the forecast video overview. If you have any further questions, you may contact us by phone at 617-612-2868, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, as well as by email at forecastinfo at forecast.org. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.